Hi, Irene. Uh, so I wanted to show you, I'm looking at uh, your animation for the expressive walk. And one of the things that you want to do is really look at, um, if we look at your walk, it's, it's pretty good. But one of the big things that really stands out is there's no uh, real follow-up animation any some but not much with the the elbow here we want to give some some movement to the elbow so uh, if I go a few frames here to like say frame three like this go back a little bit here we go so it goes and I'll go a few frames at 14 make it straighten out and then at frame say 10 make it go a little bit this way and I can I can here at frame 12 I can delete this keyframe and that way we have just a slight um, secondary animation we can do the same here this with the, the right hand so this is coming forward okay and then we'll go to 14 a few frames after 12 and make this come up there we go so there it goes I'm going to make frame one be a little bit bent and then we'll go to frame like three and then it'll straighten up. So frame one, I'll copy here, copy and then paste it to frame 24. So see what I'm doing is that at these beginning frames, frame one, even 12, I think 12, I'm going to delete, but we don't want it straight. We want the arm to kind of, it straightens maybe at three, but then it's going to, it's going to bend again, and it's going to bend. It kind of has a bend to it most of the time anyway. Um, okay, so let's look at what else we got. It's not too bad. Let's look at our feet, because you got some things going on here. So let's, let's select the feet, and I'm going to say... I'll select my channel box with the foot control selected. And I'll go up here to where it says like frame three. And frame three, if I have my toe up down. Okay, so I'm going to put that on negative three. So I'm going to get some drag on the toe. Look at that, how that does that. Here it is like here, and then it starts to drag. I'll even go to frame. Six, I still have it at what is it? Negative three, and then I'll go to frame 10. Let's do this toe up down, we'll go the other way. Actually. Just so that we get this little, and I think at frame 10, I'm not going to have that toe up down like that. I'll have it go, what, zero? I think I'm going to go like this. So I'll still have a negative, say negative three. Okay. So this is coming forward and it's dragging. I want this to drag here by so negative six. That toe is going to be dragging. And toe up down here, we'll make this negative four. Let's 
let's push play. And by frame 12, I go to six. Okay. And all I'm doing, and you see when it plays, I'm just giving a little bit of a flop to those toes. You don't have to do this. But I like to do it because it's just kind of like it just kind of helps it. Helps it to like sell that it's a uh, here we go. Put it here, frame three. We'll put toe up down. We'll put this all the way back. Here we go. Let's see. No, this is gonna go right here. I'll make toe up down. On frame one, three. We'll make it, and right here on four. Let's put it on zero. And then here we go. We're lifting up. Here. And it's just dragging it. So copy frame one, twenty four. Just click play. Okay, so I'm going to have a drag. You know, just give a little flop to that foot. Um, and you don't have to do it this much. Uh, I just do it because it helps maybe so that this is sad. Okay. I do like the little bounce that you've given in the spine. That's nice. And let's look at the wrist here. So it's coming forward, and let's make it so that the hand and this will come up so here. Yes, and then at frame 12, we're going to make this drag, and we're going to make the fingers drag as well.
copy. Here we go. There you go. So you don't have to do all this, but I find that it just helps to add a little bit more droopiness to the whole thing. All right. Thank you.